Chaudhry Sharan Singh, the 23rd of December 1902 to the 29th of May 1987, served as the fifth Prime Minister of India between the 28th of July 1979 and the 14th of January 1980. Historians and people alike frequently refer to him as the champion of India's peasants. Sharan Singh was born on the 23rd of December 1902 in a rural peasant Jat family of village Norpur, district Hapur, erstwhile district Meerut, Uttar Pradesh, erstwhile United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. Sharan Singh entered politics as part of the independence movement motivated by Mohandas Gandhi. He was active from 1931 in the Ghaziabad district Arya Samaj as well as the Meerut district Indian National Congress for which he was jailed twice by the British. Before independence, as a member of Legislative Assembly of the United Provinces elected in 1937, he took a deep interest in the laws that were detrimental to the village economy and he slowly built his ideological and practical stand against the exploitation of tillers of the land by landlords. Between 1952 and 1967, he was one of three principal leaders in Congress state politics. He became particularly notable in Uttar Pradesh from the 1950s for drafting and ensuring the passage of what were then the most revolutionary land reform laws in any state in India under the tutelage of the then Chief Minister Pandit Govind Balab Pant, first as Parliamentary Secretary and then as Revenue Minister responsible for land reforms. He became visible on the national stage from 1959 when he publicly opposed the unquestioned leader and Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's socialistic and collectivist land policies in the Nagpur Congress session. Though his position in the faction ridden up Congress was weakened, this was a point when the middle peasant communities across castes in North India began looking up to him as their spokesperson and later as their unquestioned leader. Singh stood for tight government spending, enforced consequences for corrupt officers, and advocated a firm hand in dealing with the demands of government employees for increased wages and dearness allowances. It is also worth noting that within the factional UP Congress, his ability to articulate his clear policies and values made him stand out from his colleagues. Following this period, Sharan Singh defected from the Congress on 1 April 1967, joined the opposition party, and became the first non-Congress chief minister of UP. This was a period when non-Congress governments were a strong force in India from 1967 to 1971. As leader of the Bharatiya Lok Dal, a major constituent of the Janata coalition, he was disappointed in his ambition to become Prime Minister in 1977 by Jayaprakash Narayan's choice of Mirarji Desai, not to seek power for himself but to enable him to implement his revolutionary economic programs in the interest of the rural economy. During 1977 Lok Sabha elections, the fragmented opposition united a few months before the elections under the Janata Party banner, for which Chaudhry Sharan Singh had been struggling almost single-handedly since 1974. It was because of the efforts of Raj Narain that he became Prime Minister in the year 1979 though Raj Narain was chairman of Janata Party Secular and assured Sharan Singh of elevating him as Prime Minister, the way he helped him to become Chief Minister in the year 1967 in Uttar Pradesh. However, he resigned after just 24 weeks in office when Indira Gandhi's Congress Party withdrew support to the government. Sharan Singh said he resigned because he was not ready to be blackmailed into withdrawing Indira Gandhi's emergency-related court cases. Fresh elections were held six months later. Sharan Singh continued to lead the Lok Dal in opposition till his death in 1987. Topic: <laughs> Early years, pre-independence India. Sharan Singh's ancestor was a prominent leader of the Indian Rebellion of 1857, Raja Nahar Singh of Balabgar, Greater Punjab, in present-day Haryana. Nahar Singh was sent to the gallows in Chandni Chowk, Delhi. In order to escape the oppression from the British government following their defeat, the Maharaja's followers, including Sharan Singh's grandfather moved eastward to district Bulanshahar in Uttar Pradesh. Sharan Singh was born on 23 December 1902 in the village village Norpur, district Hapur erstwhile district Meerut, Uttar Pradesh erstwhile United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. He was a good student, and received a Master of Arts MA degree in 1925 and a law degree in 1926 from Agra University. He started practice as a civil lawyer at Ghaziabad in 1928. 
In February 1937 he was elected from the constituency of Chaprali Bogpat to the Legislative Assembly of the United Provinces at the age of 34. In 1938 he introduced an agricultural produce market bill in the Assembly which was published in the issues of the Hindustan Times of Delhi dated 31 March 1938. The bill was intended to safeguard the interests of the farmers against the rapacity of traders. The bill was adopted by most of the states in India, Punjab being the first state to do so in 1940. Sharan Singh followed Mahatma Gandhi in non-violent struggle for independence from the British government, and was imprisoned several times. In 1930, he was sent to jail for six months by the British for contravention of the SALT laws. He was jailed again for one year in November 1940 for individual Satyagraha movement. In August 1942 he was jailed again by the British under DIR and released in November 1943. Independent India Sharan Singh opposed Jawaharlal Nehru on his Soviet-style economic reforms, and he helped transform the agricultural economy of North India after 1947. Sharan Singh was of the opinion that cooperative farms would not succeed in India. Being a son of a farmer, Sharan Singh opined that the right of ownership was important to the farmer in remaining a cultivator. He wanted to preserve and stabilize a system of peasant proprietorship. Sharan Singh's political career suffered due to his open criticism of Nehru's economic policy. Sharan Singh left the Congress party in 1967, and formed his own political party, Bharatiya Krandi Dal. With the help and support of Raj Narain and Ram Manohar Lohia, he became Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh in 1967, and later in 1970. In 1975, he was jailed again, but this time by then Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, daughter of his former rival Nehru. She had declared the state of emergency and jailed all her political opponents. In the 1977 general elections, the Indian populace voted her out, and the opposition party, of which Chaudhry Sharan Singh was a senior leader came into power. He served as Deputy Prime Minister, Home Minister and Finance Minister in the Janata government headed by Murarji Desai. Personal life Singh had six children with wife Gayatri Devi. His son Ajit Singh is currently the president of a political party Rashtriya Lok Dal and a former union minister and a many times member of parliament. Ajit Singh's son Jayant Chaudhry was elected to 15th Lok Sabha from Mathura, which he lost to Hema Malini in the election of 2014. Singh suffered a stroke on 29 November 1985. He could not completely recover from the condition despite being treated the following March at a hospital in the U.S. At 11.35 p.m. East, on 28 May 1987 doctors were called for to his residence in New Delhi, after his respiration was found unsteady. Efforts to revive him failed and was declared dead at 2.35 a.m. East, the following morning after a cardiovascular collapse. Legacy Since his death, many who knew Singh have ensured his life and work are remembered positively. These perceptions enforce the notion that he was of a higher category of leaders in the areas of intellect, personal integrity, and coherence of his economic and social thought. His association with causes dear to farming communities in India caused his memorial in New Delhi to be named Kizan Ghat in Hindi, Kizan is the word for farmer. His birthday on 23 December is celebrated as Kizan Diwas in India. A commemorative postage stamp was issued by the Government of India on the third death anniversary May 1990 of Sharan Singh. The Amausi Airport in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh was renamed Chaudhry Sharan Singh International Airport after him, and the University of Meerut in Uttar Pradesh, India, was also named Chaudhry Sharan Singh University in his honour. A college in Etawa district, Chaudhry Sharan Singh Postgraduate College is also named after him. A hospital in Bulanshar district is named after him. Books. Joint Farming X-Raid 
India's Economic Policy, The Gandhian Blueprint 1978. Economic Nightmare of India, Its Cause and Cure 1981. Abolition of Zamindari Cooperative Farming X Raid Peasant Proprietorship or Land to the Workers Prevention of Division of Holdings below a certain minimum <laughs>